Hi, and welcome to Stories of the Saints. On July 17th, we celebrate the feast day of Saint Alexis. Saint Alexis was born in Rome in the fourth century and was the only son of parents preeminent among the Roman nobles for both their virtue and their great wealth. They were practically noted for their almsgiving. Three tables were prepared every day for all who came for assistance, pilgrims, the poor, and the sick. Their son, fruit of their prayers, was married with splendid feastings to a noble young lady of the imperial family. But on his wedding night, by God's special inspiration, he secretly left Rome, longing for a solitude where he could serve God alone. He went to Edessa in the Far East, gave away all that he had had, brought him, and then that had brought him, content thereafter to live by alms at the gate of Our Lady's Church in that city. His family, in deepest grief, could not fathom the mysteries of his disappearance and would have been uh, consoled if God had taken him instead through death. It came to pass that the servants of St. Alexis, whom his father had sent in search of him, arrived in Edessa and seeing him among the poor at the gate of Our Lady's Church and gave an almsgiving, not recognizing him. Whereupon the man of God rejoiced, said, I thank you, Lord, who have called me and granted that I should receive for your name's name's sake and alms from my own slaves, dying to fulfill in me the work you have begun. After 17 years spent at the portal of the church, when his sanctity was miraculously confirmed by the Blessed Virgin Mary, who had speaking through her image to an offering of the church, St. Alexis once more sought obscurity by flight. On his way to Tarsus, contrary winds drove his ship to Rome. In Rome, no one recognized him. In this pale and tattered, medicated, the heir of Rome's noblest house, not even his sorrowing parents, who had vainly sent through the, throughout the world searching for him, from his own father's charity, St. Alexis begged a miserable shelter in, the, in his place, under a staircase with leftovers of his tables as food. There he spent another 17 years bearing patiently and the mockery and ill usage of his own servants who had witnessed daily the still inconcealable grief of his spouse and parents. At last, when death had ended his cruel martyrdom, they learned too late who it was that had unknowingly sheltered. A voice was heard by all in attendance at the Pope's Mass saying, Seek the man of God. He will pay, pray for Rome and the Lord will be favorable to it. He will die on Friday. All the city undertook in vain to find this unknown saint. But God had commanded Alexis himself to write down his life story and sign it. In this way, he himself confirmed his servant's sanctity when he was founded lifeless in the retreat holding that document in his hand. The Pope read aloud what was written on the parchments of the saint and everywhere in Rome. There was a single cry of admiration, impossible to describe. The house of Alexis's father, Euphemium, was later transformed into a church dedicated to Saint Alexis and Saint Boniface the st and the staircase, suspended above an altar under which he had lived for 17 years and enshrined there as a relic. If you like this video about Saint Alexis, please press the like button. And if you'd like to learn more about the saints, please feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you want to become a premium member and watch cinematic movies about the saints, all you have to do is go to thechristianchannel.com and support us by subscribing to our yearly streaming service on your smart TV. Thank you for watching and God bless.